my name is Christina Berriman Dawson and I'm an actor based in the Northeast. Um, I've been acting in the Northeast for around 15 years. Um, I do a lot of facilitation, I run a youth theatre, um, I've worked with loads of companies um, delivering um, engagement programmes, um, loads of stuff. Um, so I've been asked by Fiona to come and deliver a masterclass. So I was trying to think, well, what can I do? Um, so I thought the best thing for me to deliver would be something based around character development. And there are loads of exercises that you can do. Um, but the one that I thought I would focus on was roll on the wall. Because obviously if you're a young person and you are considering or doing GCSE drama, then this is something that you will have to have knowledge of and use probably in your coursework. Um, also, it's a technique that a lot of companies use. Um, a company that I've worked for a lot, um, Open Clasp, they use it within their methodology. And it can be used to develop an existing character, so somebody that you're already playing, you know, if you've got a script and you've been given your part and you're kind of trying to work out, you know, who is this person? You can use on the roll on the wall, go through the script, excavate your script, um, and and you'll you'll you will be more kind of in a better place after after using this technique. Um, but also you can use it uh, when devising because sometimes when you're devising things, um, that you um, it can be a challenge. So you can use it to develop a brand new character, which is good. <clears throat> so. You will need a piece of paper and a pen. And then when you've got your piece of paper, you're going to draw the outline of a person. Okay? Don't laugh. Okay, so here is the outline of a person. Hello! <laughs> so, so yeah, as you can see, there's room for me to write inside the body and outside the body. That is roll on the wall. Um... Once you've done that, so let's say your character that you're playing is, it can be anybody, right? So let's say somebody that we all know probably is Cinderella, for example. Um, so Cinderella, okay? So you might want to write Cinderella or your character on the, on the top somewhere. And in the head, you're going to write emotions, thoughts and opinions, Okay, there are loads of different ways that people do this. There are loads of extended versions um, and, and versions where you can really dig into the character. But I'm just going to go through the simplest, simplest version of this. So in the head, I want you to write emotions, thoughts and opinions. And then in the body, I want you to write facts. And then outside, just put a cue like this can you see so we've got cinderella and then in the head you're writing the thoughts emotions opinions in the body facts and then outside a cue for questions so um cinderella we all know this character let's see um, you're playing Cinderella and you're like, um, what, I really want to kind of know a little bit more about this person. So we'll start with facts. Now you can use your script um, and you can use a script to go through and write down any facts that you discover. So for example, we, we, we're just kind of using this as an example now. Um, facts we know that she in the traditional version, she's a woman. Okay, so we would write fact woman. We know that she's treated badly by her stepsisters. Um, so she's treated badly. She has stepsisters, okay? Two stepsisters, that's a fact. Um, you're probably shouting things down the lens at me now. She loses her shoe. Yes, we know she loses her shoe. Um, what else? She loses her shoe. She meets a prince. Um, what else? I 
think he proposes to her in the end. Will you marry me, Cinderella? Yeah, I think he does. So she gets married to the prince. Um, she goes to a ball. Right. Oh, blah, blah, blah. Right. So there's loads of facts. And obviously using your script as well, you can find more facts out. So, facts. She's a woman. She's treated badly. She's got two stepsisters. She loses her shoe. She meets a prince. She gets married. She goes to a ball. These, those are all facts. There's loads of other facts, okay? Then, what I want you to do, after you've done that, A, and you've filled up the whole body with facts, then I want you to fill up the head with any, when you look through your script, go through your script, page by page, and just anything where she has an emotion, you know, she pre uh, presents an emotion or a thought or an opinion, okay? So things could be like, she probably feels quite lonely at the beginning of the play. Yeah. Um, what else? Probably a bit sad at times. Um, when she when she meets the fairy godmother and realises that she's going to go to the ball, then she probably feels quite excited at that point in the play. Um, she, you know, she will be um, maybe at times overwhelmed by the situation. Um Okay, but you're just going to go through and write all of those things in the head. And then, after you've done all of that, um, it would be really good if you could then start to think about any questions that you've had. Um, or any questions that you can think of that might help you... Um, when developing a character. So those could be questions about backstory and you don't have to answer them or you can answer them. It's up to you. So a question, um, first thing for me would be potentially like how long has she been in that situation? So when you meet her at the beginning of the play, how long has she been, you know, used as a servant for her sisters? Has this been something that's happened recently to her? I mean, that might be a fact um, you might you might be able to learn that in the um, in the text, um, but for me, I don't know that at the minute. So, how long had she been doing that for her sisters, and what was life like before? So, what was her life like before she had these stepsisters that treated her so badly? Like, what 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 was her memory of that? Does she remember? I think she's she's lost her mom. Um, but she still has a dad who then remarried. So what's her fondest memory of her mother? Does she have any memories of her mother? Um, and you're just going to write all of these questions around the outside. Um, it could be anything to do with like, I don't know. The future as well. It could be. It could be about like what is life like with the prince. How does it compare to your previous life? So you have all your questions all the way around. Question, 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 question. And then once you've got all these things, you're gonna feel by looking at the page um, like in a much better position. So I just, I mean, obviously I've just been scribbling on a piece of paper. So all the mem um, all the emotions, thoughts and opinions they go in the head and all of the facts they go in the body and then look at all the questions 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 so that's for an existing character what you could then do is get some of your peers so maybe some of your classmates or some of your um fellow actors to then hot seat the questions that you have to you so you're going to be in role so i'm going to be Cinderella and then you're going to ask me what was life like before you had two stepsisters and then I would have to answer that in role and improvise and you'll take a penny from it so you'll get you'll get some really good stuff come out of that um so yeah so that's for an existing character but you can also use this um, as a technique to create a brand new character so you could see, for example, you're devising um, and you need to build some characters. Then each person can start with a role on the wall. And the best thing to do is just start by giving them a name. So, I don't know, their name is Roger. 
um, and then you're going to decide um, what any facts are about Roger. I'm just going to make them up. So Roger is a, a I don't know, he's a 30 year old, he's a man, and he, what's his job? And he works um, as a bus driver. Okay, so then you're going to start thinking about kind of his relationships, what we know about, um, you know, his family, all those things. And then once you've got all of those facts in place, you can then start looking at his thoughts and feelings. So then you might look at the relationships that you've come up with. So maybe he's married, maybe he, you know, would has never had a partner so maybe that's something that is you know he feels quite lonely or he's, he's been dating but it's never worked out who knows it could be anything um and then around the outside you put your questions and then so then you from that you can then develop a brand new character um so yeah that's wall on the wall um things that can you can then start to develop from that is you can then you know again you can hot seat your new character roger he can be hot seated um you can do that in role um or you could start to think about significant moments in that character's life um so roger you know he might have had a terrible accident when he was um i don't know when he was five you know he fell from the top of a train bumped his head but when he woke up he had superpowers so it, it, when you've got your significant moment you can then draw that moment in a picture as like a photograph or whatever um you can also i suppose then start to develop a storyline from that as well so you start to build roger's world so for example if you you know you're using your role in the wall to build a world um like cinderella's world we know at the beginning of the in um at the start of the play she she cleans for her sisters she's unhappy she's a sister and this and this and then about seven pages in your point of attack happens now your point of attack is the thing that changes the world so what happens to cinderella is an invitation lands on her doorstep and that changes our world because it gives her hope so once you've built your character yourself like our roger you know, that might be the thing. Roger has a world, he's a bus driver. Um, you know, it's pretty pretty normal life. But then maybe there's a he crashes the bus and after that he's got superpowers. And then the bus crash is the thing that changes the world. Any story that you either read or a film that you watch or a play um will have this point of attack and it's a thing that changes the world and creates the drama. Um, so yeah, so that's your role on the wall. And I've used this with loads of different groups, um, particularly when I'm doing devised work. Um, but for me, personally, if there is a character or a script that I'm really trying to get my head around and I haven't quite got the part instinctively, that will, this is a technique that I will use. So I'll go back to my script and I'll just start going through the script and going and, and making making a list you know essentially that's what it is it's just a bonny design but um it's just lists of things we know think what do i know about this person and there might just be that odd little thing that joins some dots for you where you go ah right when i say that line that's the that's the thing that i need to keep in my head so it's actually just a really really good technique and it's super quick as well so that's that um, thanks for listening. I hope it was okay. Um, I hope everything's all right now that lockdown's easing and we're allowed to play out a bit more. Um, but do stay safe. Um, got me a little medical mask here. Nice. Thing is, it's like, why do the rest of your makeup? Do you know what I mean? You might as well just do your eye makeup. But anyway. That's a different workshop. Okay, lovely to see you all. Bye. <laughs>